Okay, let's create some light fog. Um, this is one of the coolest things in Maya um, you can do with a spotlight. So what we're going to do is you can kind of see the scene we're going to create here. We're going to add um, what's known as light fog uh, to a spotlight so that when it projects it, it sort of creates this effect. Um, it's a lighting effect and it's always attached to a spotlight. So let's take a look at how we can create this. You can see where it, it has a nice flow down, um, has nice shadowing, and, and it uh, gives it sort of an atmospheric fog like you would see in a like a fog machine or something like that or just a, a ambient room fog or whatnot. So anyway, let's see how we got to this point. I'm going to minimize that render view and let's look at this. This is our spotlight with with the um, uh, fog attached and as you can see it looks a little different than just a regular spotlight so let's start from the beginning and we'll just go ahead and click on that light and delete it and let's click on um, let's click on this sphere and uh, delete that and let's delete our, our plane too and we'll start from scratch so real quickly let's create a polygon primitive plane and we'll just click and hold down drag over and now we have our our plane and I'm going to move this up just a little tiny bit that way I just don't have to see the competing lines between the grid and the the plane and what we're going to do is we're going to then create a polygon primitive um, sphere and we'll just drag on the grid and let's bring that up just a little bit and in this case I'm going to um, I'm going to actually put it in the center of the scene so we'll click on our attribute editor right here and let's put a zero in that box and I'm going to click inside of that box and zero and click in there and do a zero and now I'm just going to move it up a bit in the scene okay so there we have that now let's create our light um, we'll go to create come to your lights and we want to create a spotlight and the spotlight shows up down here and it's ready to be moved. I've got my move tool chose and so I'll just move that straight up. Now as you can see it's throwing light straight out. So let's bring it up and let's rotate that on its x-axis by negative um, 90 I believe. And that'll at least make it point straight down. So we'll move that up a little bit more and as you can see now it's starting to cover and it's starting to be just a little bit larger than the object itself so that's kinda what we want for the moment and now let's do this let's take a look at the scene from our home view that's what it looks like if I were to click on here on the front we can see that it basically clicking on the front is taking us to the front very frontal point of the light which I, I don't really want so I'm gonna click anywhere off of that and now we can kind of click on that front view and then scroll wheel in and we'll see that kind of way it should be. Now if I were to take a render view right at the moment um, I always keep my render view down in the dock. That's what we're aiming for and let's see what we're where we're at now. As you can see right now we just have our sphere chosen that's all we're seeing and we're seeing its shadow and this is the spotlight that's coming through so we're almost there let's minimize our render view and let's look at this spotlight up here so click on that spotlight and you can see where right now we want to be in in the tabs so we want to switch from this menu set over here into our tabs and we want to look in you know our spotlight shape one and that tells us the color and it tells us it's a spotlight and um, it has no decay on it right at the moment and our cone angle is at uh, 40 that's sort of the default setting so let's bring our cone angle out just a little bit more let's sort of bring it out to there and um, let's look at this scene and in order to attach light fog you have to look in this light effects okay you'll see that there's a light fog right here and the way that you attach light fog is real simple you just click this little checkerboard right here and now you can see where it went to log light fog 2 basically it's number 2 because I've already created a light fog and deleted it and so therefore it's named light fog 2 but let's come over here and let's click on and activate the light and this gives us our basic spotlight shape back and you can see where 
it says light fog and then we have a fog spread and fog intensity so if we were to do a render right at this moment I'll go ahead and call up my render window and let's do a, a click on there and render it as you can see it isn't quite covering the object the light fog is sort of stopping at the end of where you would see the end of this um, beginning light fog to on its node so what we want to do is we want to extend this light fog down through the floor. So in order to do that, all you have to do is maybe zoom out a little bit and choose your scale tool. And then from the top, we're going to click on the top and pull that up. Okay. And you can see, whereas I'm pulling, it's moving and now it's down through the bottom of the floor. And you can see where it's not quite going all the way through or all the way around our geometry, our, our sphere. So let's just see what that looks like real quickly. We'll do another render. Click on the render button. And you'll notice it takes a little longer. And now it sort of looks like we've lost something, like it's not there anymore. But that's not really the case um, because it's trying to pass through an object and and basically we need to make sure that this is covering the object or for this this case we're, we're going to do that so let's bring this back a little bit and let's minimize our render view and now what we're going to do in order to get this angle this cone angle to cover this area I'm just going to bring my cone angle up a bit more and as you can see as I do that those lines start to move out and so now I have a little bit larger coverage and I do have this, of, of this light fog. So let's actually increase the intensity just a little bit. And let's look at our light, our fog spread and fog intensity over here. And let's just bring those up a bit, maybe to like 1.6 or 1.7, something like that. Bring those up. And now let's take another render. And here's what we had before. We could barely see it. And now you'll notice it takes a little bit longer for it to render, but there it is. We're starting to see more of the, um, the effect of the, the light fog. So we'll bring that over here quickly and come over here again and this give it a little bit more spread. We'll, we'll increase the spread a little bit and let's just for kicks and grins give it a little more intensity. And now let's take another render. And... You can see where the intensity, by bringing the spread up a little bit more, it's now over the edges a little more, and it's also a little brighter. So you can fine-tune those all you want. Um, I kind of like to take the, uh, the spotlight itself, and instead of giving it uh, just a normal white color, I might want to give it like a bluer color or something like that. I don't know. Um, and there it is. So now we'll, we, can, we can take another render. If I just call up my render view here and you're going to notice the effects of that on the light on the fog on the color that it's it's created and there you have it so that's kind of the starting point of creating fog in maya on a on a spotlight so you can mess around with that as much as you want there's really no other parameters to that um, you can change the penumbra angle a little bit this will soften up the edges down here you could give the spotlight a little bit little bit more of a drop off uh, if you like um, maybe give the the spread a little more spread and a little more intensity and let's see where we're at now that's what we used to be looking like and now it looks something like this so just by playing around with those variables you can get a really nice looking stage light uh, something to spotlight a product or whatever whatever you might put under a spotlight. So there it is, the easy way to create light fog. And uh, go ahead and play around with that, have a lot of fun, get to know it really well, and it'll become second nature to use it in scenes and create really interesting lighting. So there you go. I hope you had a good time and uh, learned something.